In the fourth video of this tautomerism series, I will be illustrating the effects that a solvent has on the ketoenol equilibrium established in it. And those effects are notable particularly when the keto or enol structures have intramolecular hydrogen bonding in them. For instance, we are taking the same compound which we analyzed for most part in the previous video. A 2,4 diketone and we drew its in all form like we drew it so as to see the hydrogen bonding clearly. in a six membered ring fashion and we observe that it has intramolecular hydrogen bonding as stabilizing factor raising its enol content to 76% if the solvent in which they are in is polar in nature is actually non polar in nature it will have no impact on its OH hydrogen bond because of its neutrality. But if the solvent is polar in nature, say water, it will affect the bond. I am going to draw the same molecule again to show you how it happens. Suppose the solvent is water and this is our molecule which I am drawing. Hydrogen part of water molecule can form hydrogen bonds with carbonyl oxygen as it has a partial positive charge due to electronegativity difference with oxygen. And for the second carbonyl oxygen we have this hydrogen bonding. These are the partial charges. This stabilization of keto form by solvation has a great effect in water because intermolecular hydrogen bonding of water with keto forms carbonyl group can now take place as an alternative to enolization. Now someone might say that this hydrogen bonding can stabilize the enol form as well because the enol form also has two oxygen with oxygens with partial negative charge. So to understand this we have to draw the carbonyl group separately and analyze it. The carbonyl group has two resonating structures and in the second structures we can see that the oxygen has a negative charge. So The carbonyl oxygen has a higher amount of negative charge than the oxygen in the single OH group, singly bonded OH group. And the keto form has two of them as compared to one in enol. Same is the case in cyanide or cyanide group. There is resonance in the triple bond. And the second resonating structure can be drawn as so this molecule or this functional group also has two opposite charges so we can say that the polar solvents will enhance the stability of keto and hence reduce the enol content to strengthen my point, I would like to show you some data on this. Consider this compound again and see that in the gas phase it has the highest enol content. Because there is no other solvent. So the, inter and so the intramolecular hydrogen bonding can take place as usual. In hexane the percentage is near about the same as it is non-polar. In the liquid state the intramolecular hydrogen bonding is dominated by intermolecular forces in the molecule and for CS3CN the amount slightly decreases 
because it's polar and for water it is minimum because water has the highest amount of polarity so this data justifies our theoretical explanations and in the second case we are taking a compound which is almost similar but slightly different different because it has one carbon extra the data says in the gaseous phase it has highest percentage in all 50% and in hexane it is slightly lower in liquid it is further low and in water it is minimum as expected because water has the highest polarity again so in both the cases we have seen that the trends are the same and they are consistent with our theoretical study let's consider this ester as we know that ester has a relatively lower in all content as compared to ketone so the in all content is low even in non polar solvents and further low in water so all this is consistent with our theoretical illustrations if you found this tutorial to be helpful please like and share this video and subscribe to this channel please leave a comment if you have any feedback thank you everyone for watching